the question I will answer asks, an object is placed a distance of 2.5 f from a converging lens of focal length f. What type of image, real or virtual, is formed, and what is the size relative to the object, the size of the image? Also, is the image upright or inverted? So first, I drew a diagram with an object placed at 2.5 f. I then took a diagram-based approach first to answer the question. I, I drew three principal rays. Excuse me. I drew three principal rays on the ray diagram. The first one simply goes from the tip of the image parallel towards the lens and then through the focal point on the real side. The second ray goes straight through the middle of the lens and straight through the other side in a straight line. The third ray goes to the focal point on the virtual side and it hits the lens and it goes out the other side parallel. And these all three rays converge at a single point where the image, the tip of the image is formed. And then you can tell a few things from this first initial image formed. The image first is on the real side, so it is a real image. The image is also smaller than the object size, and the image is inverted. I will then use an equation-based approach to answer this question. Knowing the lens equation 1 over f equals 1 over p plus 1 over q, and knowing that the object is placed at a distance 2.5f, which is stated in the uh, question, uh, I set the variable p equals 2.5f, or rearrange p equals 5f over 2. I substituted the known values into the lens equation, 1 over f equals 2 over 5f plus 1 over q. This is just some simple algebra I did to rearrange the variables and plug into the equation. I then solve for q. So 1 over q equals 1 over f minus 2 over 5f. I solve for a common denominator, did some simple algebra, and found that q equals 5 over 3f. So knowing that 5 q, excuse me, knowing that q equals 5 over 3f because this is the image distance q. Because this is a positive value, the image is on the real side. Had the image distance q value been negative, then the image would have been virtual. So the main point here is that because q is a positive number, you know that it is on the real side. The second part of the question also asks to compare the image size relative to the object and whether the image formed is upright or inverted. T to answer both of these questions, it is possible to use the magnification equation, which is m equals minus q over p. This minus sign is vital in this equation because it indicates whether the image is inverted or upright. And I'll clarify that later in the video. So knowing that q equals 5f over 3 and p equals 5f over 2 from the previous calculations, I just plug the values in into the magnification equation. So m equals minus q over p, m equals minus 5f over 3 over 5f over 2, some quick algebra again, I found that m equals minus 2 thirds. Therefore, because m is a value less than 1, the image is smaller relative to the object size. If m had been a value greater than 1, then the, uh, the image would have been magnified. And the negative sign indicates that the image is inverted. So all of these observations from the calculation-based approach correlate to the uh, observations of the diagram of based approach. So either approach is uh, good for solving this equation, it just depends on what kind of approach you prefer and it, whether the question asks for actual numbers that require calculations. And there are a couple places of potential uh, mistakes or errors that I noticed when I was doing this, e this question and those mainly deal with sign conventions uh, you always want to make sure you um, keep track of your signs, know what you're doing with these equations, and know that some equations actually do have negative signs such as the magnification equation. Um, when solving for the image distance q, you always have to remember that if the q value is positive, then that means the image is on the real side, and if the q value is negative, it's on the virtual side. So these are just basic definitions, but I know some people can go get confused about the um, 
signs and definitions. And on that point, it is also important to um, know how to draw the ray diagrams because if you don't know what goes parallel or through the focal point or through the focal point and parallel, you might not know how to draw the ray diagram and not get an accurate representation of the image actually formed. So for one last point, just uh, repeating myself, but the magnification equation always deals with the negative sign in the equations and it is important to keep this because sometimes the m value might come out to be positive and you might have missed the negative sign which would have made the magnification negative and you just need to always remember to keep your signs in order and besides those the question these type of questions are fairly straightforward you can take either the diagram approach or calculation approach to double check yourself and uh, that's it